one of my favorite hacks with personal finance is that every time I want to buy something and I'm not sure if it's worth the money is to try to think about how much silver that is equivalent to, right? So I go out to uh, go Christmas shopping and I see something interesting and it's going to cost me two or three ounces of silver. I try to imagine handing this over to the cashier for whatever toy that I want for Christmas Day. Right, right now, my car has some uh, cosmetic repairs that it could need, but I also think about the fact that it's got 120,000 miles on it. It could die any day, right? I could get the cosmetic repairs and it could be two months that I enjoy, quote unquote, enjoy those repairs and it's gone and I've paid, I don't know, that for it. And I try to imagine handing this over to the car mechanic and getting my car fixed. Hmm, it doesn't seem so worthwhile anymore, right? Or I think about, um, actually right now as I speak, a lot of people are doing a lot of online shopping, right? I, I hope we, uh, when we finally reopen fully from quarantine, people will enjoy social environments again. I spent some time in Taiwan where people actually go out and shop. And I think they have a, a much better social life than here in the United States. But a side effect of all this online shopping is that the concept of money and currency has been very much abstracted, right? People use Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Bitcoin Pay, and there's all sorts of variations of it, right? There might even be a gold-backed currency that you can pay on Amazon or Facebook. I'm not sure. I'm not following all that stuff because um, I find that it's very easy to overconsume with that. Let me give you an example. So I work in an organization where um, we could donate our vacation time to colleagues who need it. And last year, uh, one of my colleagues uh, had a family member who had COVID and needed to take care of her kids. And I ended up giving her a number of vacation days. The problem is that later on, I needed time off for something else as well. And I ended up taking my time off unpaid. So in essence, I, I could have just handed her a bunch of silver and said, hey, take unpaid time off and take my silver. It, it would have been the same effect, but it, it would have been a lot more unpleasant to deal with. She probably wouldn't have taken it. And certainly I would have felt a sense of maybe I should um, help, help her problem solve instead of just handing her all this silver, right? But because it was called vacation days and it wasn't called silver or even US dollars, it flowed a whole lot easier. Now, granted, she has um, been pleasant to work with and has returned some favors to me. Uh, but you get the idea, right? It's very easy for, for, for the silver to, uh, or for, to, to, to overspend when your idea of currency has been abstracted away like that, right? And then, you know, now that we've reopened somewhat and I've returned to dating, I get very nervous when I have to spend a lot of money on dating, right? Let's face it, when I go out by myself as a solo sexual, I'm a lot more thriftier. Not just because it's only paying for myself, but also I don't have to spend to impress anymore. Right? When I go out as a solo sexual, I could, have a, I could have a pretty good time on two or three ounces of silver, right? With the girl, it takes 10 ounces of silver easily, right? And then I try to imagine handing over 10 ounces of silver. Oh my god, that's an expensive date, right? Anyway. Thought I would show a hack for um, how to think about your uh, costs.